Welcome back everyone, Dino Joe here. Today we got some 372s to play with. Two over there are brand new, genuine Husqvarna 372 XPs. Where they came from, the low top down there is standard. This one's already been ported by my friend Pavin. He put the high top on it. Here's a brand new X Torque like you could walk into any dealer here in the States and pick up. So all three of these are brand new. That's a stock OE on that end, stock X Torque on this end. That's a ported OE in the middle. We'll get some baseline runs on all three of these. Jeremy and Mike, that are building the pipes and doing the pipes, they sent in a new version of the 372 pipe. So, so we're gonna try the old pipe. We'll try the new pipe that was sent in. See if there's any improvements. I'll show you up close both pipes, show you all the dyno runs, and we'll talk to crafts. All right, stick around. All right, this one here, this is pipe one. This is the one we tested on my old ratty 371, 372 build. We tested it with the silencer baffle on it. But since pipe two doesn't have the ring, we can't put the silencer on pipe number two. So we're going to test all three of these. We're going to do a retest. All three of these, brand new saws. So we're going to retest pipe number one, see how it does. On the OE, a ported OE, stock X torque. And then we're going to try pipe number two. The, the header flange is the same. So that'll stay on the saw and I'll just be able to unhook the spring, slide the pipe on, make another run. They're still testing and developing these pipes, so I'm not sure which one will be a final draft. They're really putting in the effort to dial them in, make sure the customer gets the best power. So, I said this is a fresh test. I do have the video of this pipe on my old saw, but we're going to start fresh. Everything brand new, brand new prototype. Let's see how it does. If you like seeing these type of tests, different parts, different pieces, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe so you can see some more. Leave a comment. Let me. Thanks a lot, everybody. All right, here's the first 372 pipe. Here's the new 372 pipe. Give you an up close look. They both use the same header flange, so that'll stay on the saw. I'll just swap the pipes around. The new one appears to have a little bit longer tuned length. Stingers are inside of the rear cone on both of these. You can see a longer and larger diameter belly on the new one. Longer first cone. Looks like slightly different tapers, but I didn't build them, I'm just showing out, pointing out things that I see. The new pipe has a formed header, or at least the first transition. Smaller diameter here, makes the bend, gets a little bit longer. This is tapered where the other one's pie cuts. Not sure if that makes a huge difference or not. Looks like the header diameter starts out slightly smaller on this new pipe and then transitions into a larger cone and belly. So here's an up close look at the two pipes for the 372s. We'll get them tested on all three saws to see if the new version outperforms the first. This one here is ported by Pavine. He's on Facebook. He can get you these if you need to. Genuine OEM Husqvarna 372. See, these are Sweden built saws. This is the ported one. So we'll see what kind of power that makes on muffler. We'll try the pipe. We'll get these all fueled up, oiled, get some weights on them, see if the OE is lighter or heavier than the X Torque. All right, here's an up close version. This is the low top OE 372. OE is the original edition. Closed quad port cylinder, side D comp. Now abroad, this is the style of muffler that these 372s come with. They have a single tube outlet. It's a genuine Husqvarna. Here's the 
our slow top filter and then we'll look at the X torque. Smaller, low clearance, flock type filter. All right, now here is the X torque that you could pick up here in the States anywhere. See the decompression valve is kind of on top. These are a strato type saw with bolt on side covers, both 50 millimeter, 71 cc's. And this is the type of muffler we get in the States. See, it has a spark screen with a deflector on top. And the built-on bumper plate. And this side cover has the name made into the side. This one's a sticker style. So I just wanted to show some up close, some of the differences in the X torque. This is the high top filter. Since these X torques, they have fresh air and fuel mix going through the carb. They do use a larger carburetor. This is the low top elbow. This is the X torque elbow has a splitter in there to help split the air and divide it, divide the airflow. One half is just air and one half is fuel air mix into the cylinder. Walbro carb, the boot on the OE is slightly smaller and the diameter of the carb is slightly smaller. These X torques use a giant carb and a bigger boot to get the, because they're separated. Fuel and air on one side, and just air on the other side. That's why potentially if you swap the cylinders and well we'll see how they do stock for stock. But a lot of people like to swap these OE without the removable transfer caps onto the X torques because these are hard to get. It's very hard to find a original style 372 here in the states. So People swap them onto the X torques because you can still pick these up. Generally, people think that the old style makes better power. It has a lighter piston. It has a few things going for it. So we'll see how these do. Stock for stock. This will be a fun test. All right, there's just a couple things that are different. This is the first time for me seeing one of these X torques 372s and an original style in. Well, brand new. So I'll get these fueled, oiled, get some dyno runs, see how they do. We'll see how the ported one does. All right, the ported saw has a dual tube style outlet. Both of them are larger than what the stock was. The saw's been ported, machine work, everything. This is an aftermarket high top filter setup because they come with low tops where he is. See which one comes out on top, the X torque or the original 372, is it close? These pipes from CPI, Jeremy and Mike are still dialing these in, getting the porting close, getting the pipe close to match the porting, trying to get the best power out of them they can. Let me know what you think, X Torque versus the OE. Here's the ported 372 with the aftermarket high top kit. 16 pounds, one ounce. There's for the metric. Here's the 372 X torque. 16 pounds, 9.4 ounces. There it is in metric. Here's the low top OE 372. 
15 pounds, 15.1 ounce. Now this has a low top and a factory muffler. So that muffler mod and the high top is where that weight came from between the two OE saws. Well, that was pretty fun. Here's the graphs for the stock runs. This is the X Torque saw and low top OE saw. See the X Torque and the OE stock runs down here. The X Torque's just a smidge behind the OE in power. I'll show you that on the number report. Then this is pipe one. OE's on top. Pipe 1 X Torx a little bit below. These pipes weren't made for the X Torx at all. This was just a shot in the dark. You can see looking at the peaks on these graphs, pipe number 1 is tuned to peak around 93, 9400. The second pipe is down here right around 8200. Both of these on the X Torx and on the OE. They both peak right at 8200. That's where the pipe's making them peak. Because you can see down here, with no pipe, just on muffler, the peak horsepower is about 9500. So these numbers in the boxes are taken at 8200, which is only the peaks for pipe number two. Just wanted to show the graph so you can see what the actual power curves look like. And then we'll look at all of the numbers on the report. This is the new pipe, pipe number two. This is pipe number one. This is both stock saws. All right, here's the number reports for all the saws. First three columns, that's the X Torque saw. This is the X Torque with pipe two, 7.8 horse, 4.97 foot pounds of torque. That's 38% above the stock 5.65 horsepower. So pipe number two on the X-Torque was up 38%. Pipe number one was up 34% on the X-Torque. 7.62 to 5.65. So that's a two horse gain. All right, with the OE, it's 5.8 horse stock. Pipe number two was the best runner on that at 8.44 horsepower. That was up 45%. Pipe number two, 7.85 horse. That was up 35%. The PK is where the peak numbers are. Peak torque up top. Peak horsepower down below. Alright, now we'll take a look at the Pavine ported. 372 and on pipe. <laughs> Thank you.
right here's both pipes and the ported both pipes on the ported 372 down here these are the stock runs stock oe and stock x torque just because that way everybody can see the numbers in these boxes were taken at 9,300 RPM. You can see this run here is the ported saw with no pipe. Pipe number one actually worked a little bit better on the ported saw than it did on the stock saws. Pipe number two, almost there in the peak power, makes a little bit more down low. So these two pipes should be very close on this. When the saw was ported, that wanted to push the power band a bit higher. Both of these pipes are meant to peak down here, so they're kind of fighting it a little bit. The one that peaks a bit higher, it does carry out a bit higher. Pipe number one hits at a little bit higher RPM than what pipe number two does. That's why it has this extended shelf out here. The cylinder ports want to make power out here and the pipe wants to hit out here so they're not stacking up great but it is still a gain we'll look at the numbers and i'll show you the percentages but i just wanted to show you the curves like i said these are both prototype pipes and that's what all this is for is just research and development trying to dial in these they work great on the stock saws and there's so many different porting combinations that it's almost impossible to dial in one pipe for every ported saw just because of this here the saw is meant to hit up here if your pipe doesn't hit right it doesn't magnify the pulses and make the power like it should all right here's the number report for the ported saw with both pipes and i left both stock saws on this column here is the stock OE column here is the stock X torque this is the ported OE pipe number two pipe number one ported saw 48% gain over the X torque 44% gain over the OE so 44 and 48% over stock Pipe number one gained another 11%. Pipe number two gained another 9.6%. So a well-matched pipe gains almost as well as good porting. Now what we need to do is we need to get a well-matched pipe to a ported cylinder. That would be fun. So, just wanted to share this with you guys. Hope you enjoy it. I said 44, 48% over stock 372s. That's no slouch. The OE and the X Torque, they're super close. Fun to get the X Torque ported up and see what kind of power a ported X Torque makes. Within 3% of each other, the power curves are almost identical. So it doesn't appear there's a real power advantage stock to stock for either one of those. Alright, thanks a lot everybody.